Okay, maybe. Are you gonna be good or you're gonna be a demon? It smells like you took a stinky poop in here. You did. You did. Oh, me, boon. No, 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 no. Okay, yeah, you can have some hay. Thank you. Have a good night. Okay, yeah, you're getting greedy. Okay. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and back to another Ride With Me vlog. As you can see, I'm riding Maple, Maple the Pony. If you've seen any of my videos with Maple before, you would know that she always presents a really interesting ride. She is incredibly bossy. Good girl. Good girl, Maple. Um, she doesn't like being told what to do. She puts up a really nice challenge, um, but it's always kind of fun writing her. Um, it's definitely interesting to see who can be bossier because you have to be bossier than her, otherwise you're gonna lose. But yeah, Maple was in a lesson recently, so she already had her saddle ready to go. So I'm just getting her bridle on and then we'll head into the arena and start our lesson. Thank you. So because Maple is so bossy, she does have grass reins attached to her bridle. Um, they're for little kids to use, otherwise Maple will just constantly yank the reins out of their hands. I'm not allowed to use them because I am grown, uh, but that's fine, I don't mind. I just clip them up around her bridle just so they're out of the way and they're not bouncing around everywhere. Now that I've done all my prep steps, it is time to get on and start our lesson. Ooh. Where are you going? I need some girls to dance. Hey, can you stay? No. Silly Maple is already showing off her stubborn side and I can tell that this lesson is going to be particularly challenging with her. Oh, Maple. Oh, you know what I just realized? <laughs> it's fine. Let's go put it away. My goodness, I am forgetful today. I forgot to put down the right stirrup and now I forgot to take off her cooler. Whoopsies. A horse? So as you can see, Maple is already showing off her stubborn side. Typically, this only really lasts for the beginning of the ride. She really tests you at the beginning. I think she's just trying to see what she can get away with. So it's really important to not let her get away. Otherwise, she's not going to stop and she'll be like that the whole ride. Oh my goodness, this horse is bumpy. Maple is also well known as the bounciest pony in the barn. It's been a little while since I've ridden her and it's a little bit of a shock going to her again and seeing how bouncy she is. So of course when Maple has her moments, I always want to ask nicely first. I'll squeeze my legs, I'll, then I'll use my voice and then if she's still not responding, I'll use my crop. Maple. OK. 
Good girl. Come on, Maple. This is pretty much Maple in a nutshell. She is being like extra stubborn today though, which is making it just a little bit harder than normal. This pony is gonna be the death of me. I need to follow someone for now, I'm sorry. So yeah, I think my best bet to keep Maple moving is to keep her following someone for now, but I do wanna try and get some circles in. Um, and right here, yes, we finally managed. Just kidding, spoke too soon. So, so far this lesson has been fun and we've only been trotting around, but this is the worst of it, I promise you. Once we get past this initial phase and she realizes that I'm not gonna let her get away with her funny business, she'll tone it down. And yay, we just completed our first successful circle. Woohoo! Do you guys wanna change the rain? And I'm actually impressed. I got her to do the reverse without stopping. So progress. Yeah. Being maple. So she's definitely not done with her silliness yet, but her episodes are not as dramatic. Um, and now we're just practicing our figure eights and going over this pole. I should have known that Maple was gonna stop. Usually the first set of poles we do, she does stop. So I should have given her a little tap on the crop um, expecting that, but oh well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's been a, ride, a while since I've ridden Maple and I got on and I was like, woohoo, this pony is bouncy. Yeah. It's definitely different from riding a little bit smoother horses in the trot going to Maple. You definitely have to post higher and hold it longer and it just makes my legs absolutely ache. <laughs> I think we're getting quite good at managing our spacing with figure eights. We haven't had any traffic jams in quite a while. Like the fingers? I love them. Every time I go by, I'm like, whoo!
my goodness every time we do no stirrup work and i'm riding maple it is like a life or death situation i am literally hanging on for dear life she's so bouncy At this point, I'm absolutely dying. I am doing some sitting trot as well as posting mainly after the pull because she's so bouncy, it's just easier to sit. Whoa. Oh, I was fighting for my life that whole time. After letting our legs rest a little bit, we're just going to check our girths, make sure it's nice and tight, and then we will go and canter. Although Maple has a really, really bumpy trot, her canter is absolutely lovely. Who wants? You want to go with Mapey? I don't know. Huh? Did you want to go first or second? Me. <laughs> Come on. Back. 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 There you go. Good. Yeah. Good girl. Oh, yeah. Applying my skills to real life. not surprised that I'm having a little bit of trouble keeping maple in the canter. I just need to squeeze my legs a little harder and maybe use my crop as well. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that felt weird. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, that was like. Mm. <laughs> So that was interesting. That was my first time ever experiencing a cross canter. It definitely did feel very uncomfortable and very strange, but I think we did pretty good going over our pole the second time there. And now we're just gonna go to the right. Over the pole again. Another little stubborn moment from Miss Maple. <laughs> oh. 
so that was interesting we had a long distance to the pool and maple leaped for it and then after i was kind of like on her neck a little bit but managed to push myself back into the saddle <laughs> That last one felt good. Did anyone get that? Yes, queen. <laughs> Thank you. Whoa. What should we do? Yeah. Yeah. A little pop, a little cross rail. Just a little cross rail. It's basically just a pole. It's fine. <laughs> Look at that, okay, an oxer. <laughs> Guys, we're jumping oxers. We skipped the little cross rail. Yeah. Let's change on the left lead over the green pole. Okay. Down the long side, back to trot. Your one stride here. Pick up right lead canter. Canter over the green pole, and then canter over your triple bar oxer to finish. <laughs> So we missed our green pole there and it's not because we couldn't make it, I just actually forgot we were supposed to go over it. Whew. A little messy but we made it. I skipped the pole. Wait. You're supposed to go over the green line before the, the triple bar oxer. Whoops. Oh, I just went around it. That's funny. So there we go, guys. Our first triple bar oxer. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm just kidding. One day. Um, ooh, look at pumpkin jumping. But unfortunately, that's all I have for you guys today. I don't know what happened to the rest of my footage. We did only do this course once, so you're not missing much else. But uh, I lost the rest of the GoPro footage. Um, so that's all that I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really hope you guys enjoy it. See you next time. Bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe.